Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are going to talk about why you should be using smart URL links to make it easier to promote your music. Now, smart URL is arguably the most important digital marketing tool that you can have in your arsenal as an independent artist to promote your music. On the website, smart URL describes itself as smart and powerful one link that redirects by country and device. Smart URL combines all the features previously found in country device and music types. So what does this mean? Smart URL allows you to just use one link to drive your listeners to every streaming service for an album or a single. This is important because your fans use different streaming services and you want to make sure that they are able to find your music on the right streaming service when you tweet about it or if you have that one link in your bio on Instagram. Every single major label and independent label uses Smart URL's technology and you most likely have clicked and opened a Smart URL landing page. For example, let's take J. Cole who just released his album KOD and all over his social profiles we can see he is using the Smart URL to direct his fans to a landing page so they can choose a streaming service they use to listen to music to grab and listen to his album. Here he is using it on his Facebook page. Obviously it's the only link he has has in his bio on Instagram and he's tweeted it out a couple times so if you click one of those links it takes you to our smart URL landing page and you're able to click on the streaming service that you use to listen to music so please set up a smart URL account and we're gonna go over how to use smart URL how to create your own individual landing pages for your album or single and how to use it effectively to promote your music to grab more listeners and drive every single listener you have to the right streaming service now that you've created a smart url account i'm going to teach you how to create a landing page for all the streaming services for that specific single or album in one link so we're going to hit create and then we're going to hit pivot all right the pivot page so the best url to start with is itunes itunes product url so copy and paste the itunes link of your single or album right here now this is where smart url is very beneficial to use because if your fan is in the uk and you tweet out the itunes us link for your single or album when they click on it they're not going to be in the correct store to be able to listen to or purchase that single or album they're going to have to go back into the itunes store search for your single or album because they're in the uk it's a different store there's different cookies so they have to be able to make sure that they're actually being sent to the correct store. So this is why Smart URL is very beneficial because immediately, as you can see right here, it populates all the different URLs for every single store. So now your single is available to be directed to for the US, for the UK, for Germany, for France, Australia, etc. Over 100 iTunes stores, as you can see, we have 111 country URLs in just one single link. Now let's add a new retailer right here. Go to title if you know, you should have your single on title as well. And let's hit title artist right here here we're going to type in title we have as you can see right here uh, a little preview of this of the landing page now we have apple music we have itunes and we have title i don't know how spotify is there already now let's add another url let's put google play music all right and then let's hit right here default url and it's already validating that link here we could put google play streaming now here we have the call to action listen so as you can see, we have Apple Music Listen, we have iTunes Buy, we have Spotify Listen, we have Title Listen, we have Google Play Listen. Another great feature of Smart URL is the fact that you can add a video link to of your song as well. So if you have your single available on YouTube with a music video or just a lyric video as we have right here, you can hit copy and paste into the YouTube URL section right here. You know, this is very important. A music video is one of the most important ways to sell your actual music people are very visual listeners after they see a music video they're more compelled to go listen to it on spotify to listen to it on title or to actually purchase purchase it on itunes or go to best buy and buy your cd well best buy doesn't sell cds anymore so go to target and buy your cd so here once they click that smart url link now they have the option of one going to see your music video which already brings them into another world and really allows them to um get connected with the song a little bit more and now they're able to also immediately after they click that link also decide what streaming service is it that they use so they can listen to your song and you could do a couple different features here like customized colors product image settings um those aren't really that important and you could also get rid of i'll show you right here um the offer section so i would just disable the offer because you know you're not getting paid or endorsed by apple music to have them get new subscribers so i will just get rid of that real quick you can also 
put in your social handles. If you have a website, you can place the website as well. Snapchat, if people still use that, put your Snapchat. LinkedIn, if you want to get connected professionally as well. And as well, you can link your Patreon. So if you have a special connection with your fans, you have a Patreon page, and they contribute to your Patreon page to help you um, fund your artist's creative career, then here you go, you can also link that. And then at the bottom, we're gonna create a custom alias for the smart URL. So this single is called Waste No Time. So we'll just push listen, waste no time. Boom. Now it's branded. So it just helps really, it's a call to action. It's it's a way to branding your, your, your link. So if, if someone is gonna land on your Instagram and they see the link in your bio and it says, listen to Waste No Time, immediately already understand, hey, this is a link to Go listen to this artist's song. Um, if you want to make it more modern, you could put stream. So let's save the small URL now. All right, everybody. So now that we have the small URL. We could, you know, copy it and paste it into our Instagram bio. So copy, you know, go to your Instagram. As you can see now, that one link that you can only have in your bio when you click it. As you can see, this is the landing page that every single person who clicks your one link on Instagram will be able to see. So now they could cons they could watch the music video directly on this landing page. You want to make sure your fans can easily access your music, easily listen to it, easily be able to purchase it. And here we're giving the option of not only consuming, you know, the music video that's on YouTube, so you could possibly gain subscribers on YouTube channel as well. Um, you could click now to follow them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, follow them on Instagram, and you could get them to go buy your single on iTunes as you can see right here. So, you know, this is a very important tool. I believe it's the most important tool in 2018 for independent artists, especially because, you know, as an independent artist, you're, you're really squeezing out every single dollar you possibly can. You want to make as many fans as possible and you want to turn in every single fan into a, a fan that buys your music that buys your merch that subscribes to your youtube channel that you know watches your music videos and if you have a single or album you're promoting you want to promote it the best way possible and i believe using a tool like smart url and there's different other ones out there but i'm not really very well vested into all the features they use and obviously there's competition so i'm just very well versed in smart url and i can vouch for it and as you can see every major record label is using its technology in one way or another and another aspect of smart URL is the fact that you get data so here we have an old link that i posted a few days ago so let's go see what the data tells us now this is personal data but i'm sharing it with you guys because you need to understand how to read this data how to use it to your advantage to create ads how to use it to retarget your fans how to use it to create custom newsletters so you know data is the biggest commodity in the world right now if someone has your data they able to target you with an ad to market their product or service to you so hopefully they can convert you into a customer or a client or in this case a listener we have 23 total clicks and here we even have the data about the specific countries people have clicked so we have united states we have United Kingdom, we have Japan, we have Bahamas, we have Italy, we have Netherlands, we have Germany, we have Australia. This is very important because now I'm saying, all right, these are where our fans are. This is where our fans are listening to our music. Should we contact a local promoter in Japan and do a small 10-person show? Should we contact somebody in United Kingdom to do a 20-person show? Should we contact somebody in Germany and say, hey, we want to do a 5-person show? It doesn't matter how many people show up to your 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 show it just matters that you have listeners and you have actual people who care about your music so we have the referring domains obviously we have that one link in instagram so it's what's driving the most clicks to this landing page facebook as well uh, and most of them are clicking apple music so what does this tell me most of my fans are listeners on apple music i should place that at the top of the smart URL landing page. It's just very important to understand how to use this stuff. So you are able to see which country they're from, what streaming service they clicked on, what website they're clicking from. We even get to see the device they're clicking from, their iPhone users or their Android users. A lot of these fans, it makes sense. They're listening to Apple Music, they must have an iPhone. Now this is a very basic tutorial on how to use smart URL. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, please leave a comment below in the comment section that you want a more in-depth tutorial. Now we'll be glad to make one because there's so much more that you could use with Smart URL. For example, if you have a fan in the UK and he has an Android phone, you can create a specific Google Play Store link with Smart URL to send them to the Google Play Store through an Android device. So it gets very nitty gritty. You can get very meta. You can really make sure you are taking your fans directly to the music and giving them 
a frictionless process to convert them into purchasing and listening fans. So again, this is a very important tool. It's free. You don't have to worry about being an enterprise user because as I imagine if you're watching this video, you are just getting started or you're taking this a little bit more serious and you're looking into digital marketing and how to promote your music. So Smartio is an important tool to have in your arsenal and it's free. And if you're seeing someone like J. Cole, one of the biggest artists in the world using Smartio on their social profiles to promote their music and you have access to a free tool like this just as he does, then please take it to your advantage. So I hope this video gave you a quick rundown quick tutorial on the basics of smart url please again leave a comment below if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial thank you for watching everybody hope this helped out a lot make sure to hit that subscribe button it really helps this channel and we'll be able to give you more tutorials on how to you know promote brand and market your music so thank you for watching peace